How long did you actually do flow for? Um, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I did it from from the jump when it opened as a first reggae show until yeah. the close. Yeah. But fired about two or three times. <laughs> 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 okay, let me put some. Let me tell you some history I have with Flo. Okay, when we were doing, a, but hold on. But every time yeah. I was fired, they had to call me back because you know what I mean throughout my run and, and big up to Doctor J. Yeah, you know what I mean with us when we were on that station and throughout our our whole tenor, mm -hmm. you know we were number one rated on commercial mm -hmm. radio. And this is compared to all the radio stations in Toronto and in that okay. thing, we we're number one throughout that whole time. So even a regular commercial at that time there. We'll say for like a regular show, even the morning show, it didn't matter what we think, bust up everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was like $60 or $70 an ad for our show for one ad. It was like $290. Because it was that hard you know I mean? to on the show. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and we were getting paid like $25 an hour and thing like that. You know what I mean? Getting like really abused by the system. You know what I mean? What? But um, <laughs> yeah, man, we, think we were thinking, man, we were breaking up for like yeah. years upon years. And um, um, the only time that thing we weren't number one was... um when real life events happened, for instance, like when 9-11 happened yes, and then the whole world was yeah. focused on yeah. that news element You're there. Really, so at that time, you were still on flow at that time when 9-11 mm -hmm. um, happened. Yeah, man, I remember that That's day great. there. They, they, I remember that day there. Um, we had a meeting at flow that morning there. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's funny because me and Dr. J were there. Yeah. Cause you know, Doctor J, Mister Punctuality, has to yeah. always be there on time. Was he on time? I heard he did it. He did his interview yet? Yeah, of course. Of, was he, he on was, time? Of course he was. Yeah, yeah. Mister Punctuality. Yeah. You know, shout out to the Soka Prince. Yeah. But um, we were there, and uh, we we're watching it unfold on the TV there, man. And it was absolutely bananas, man. Yeah, yeah man. I think I was there at that time. I, I think I might crazy. have gotten. What year was that? That was 2011. No, not 2000. 2001. No, two, when am I talking about 2011? It was probably yeah, about yeah, 2001 or, or two or three. Yeah, yeah, I was there. I was employed at that time. Crazy. Then. Okay, <laughs> you brought up something before we get on to the next segment. What do you think there? What did you do to get fired? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, at that time, you know, what I mean, rhythm track was hot. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean. My thing was hot, and uh, we had a new program director there that was a program director at um, Ill Noise at Too Cool for Radio. Okay. Big up to Dave Marsden. Yeah. Um, and he just knew the power. We didn't really understand and know what we had. Just as I said with that whole turbo and that whole magic thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. We didn't really know and understand how important we were to the community, you know what I mean? Or maybe how important... The community was to us because I said the community is the one that built us. But um, you know, I mean, he saw that power and he said, "You know what? I'm gonna give you and Shooks, you know, what I mean, a three day show on Flow. You know, what I mean, because it was a new. Because we first had a, a, an American program director, yeah. hence why we had to pre record. I had to pre record oh, the show. And they didn't understand reggae music. Now I understand. You know, and didn't understand that. Yeah. So she was like from the states. Yeah. You know, shout out that to Michelle Price. Mm -hmm. You know, even though Moa Bonar see him, but you know, what I mean, <laughs> you know, what I mean, yeah. as I said, everything is. You know what I mean? She taught me a lot the same way too, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, you know what I mean? When you listen to me on the radio, you know what I mean? I don't sound like a reggae dancer, a hardcore DJ. And that's oh. basically on purpose yeah. because people have to be able to understand what I'm saying. I'm trying to, you know, reggae and dance, all people are going to flock and love the thing. But, you know I me mean? For those that don't really understand it, mm -hmm. you know, I have to present it to them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, for instance, Singing Sweet, When I See You Smile. Yeah. You know I me mean? that you know that song's a big song. Massive. I played that song on the radio. She ran into the office and goes, What's that you playing? What's that you playing? I don't like that. What? People don't like take that off. You know what I mean? Like, you know, that's the kind of stuff I had to deal yeah. with and all that. And uh, yeah. I guess, you know, once her tenor was finished or whatever the case is, they brought in, you know, in a new program director. You know what I mean? And that program director happened to be, you know, pro, um the program director and the man in charge over at Illinois.com too, mm -hmm. cool for radio. And he knew what we can do and the numbers we can bring in. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That we had something different to offer. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, he gave us an opportunity Monday to Wednesday there. You know what I mean? From like 10 to 2 in the morning. Okay. And you think, remember, I'm coming from <laughs> doing 1 to 6 in the morning yeah. where, you know what I mean? It's not really, you know I mean? You can go kind of hardcore, more mm -hmm. raw and uncut to doing 6 to 9 in the morning, yeah. corporate. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Where I have to be a little bit Level nicer it. and easier, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? To go into Snakey's Corner on, 
the internet where you know oh, we're just unruly you yeah. know what i mean oh, like hell bro. like unruly yeah so that's when we brought snakey's corner to the commercial radio mm. and you have to remember you know you know what i mean I'm, I'm i'm a very very you know what i mean at that time i was a very very huge fan of like howard stern yes you know what i mean yes, yes. you know what i mean the king of media you know what i mean how he did his shows them in mm-hmm. the interaction how he brought like a lot of different stuff to it like you know what i mean sex to it and you know what i mean real life situations yep. you know what i mean you know what I mean? Bad situations yeah. that you can laugh at and you know what I mean? So you know what I mean the unruliness and you know we tried to bring that to the night <laughs> time. <laughs> that yeah. did not work, bro. About like even, our numbers were skyrocketing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and you know what I mean, as I said, and you know what I mean, our thing was I mean, and I and I think that, you know, we were kinda ahead of our time because now when we listen to the radio, the things that we were doing, you know what I mean, that's what they're doing on the radio. And it's normal. But it I wasn't know. normal. You know what I mean? For us, you know what I mean? No, wait. For how it's turned, yeah, but you know what I mean? As, you know, two, two, two black men, you know what I mean? Coming From in and, and, you know what I mean? No, and, wait, and we think we kind of, we did go overboard and yeah. you know, we apologize to anyone that, you know, was offended, no, but we brought that funny. black Howard Stern to, you know what I mean? <laughs> to radio, you yeah. know, and you know what I mean? The numbers went up because people were pissed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like people were, a lot of people were mad and you know what I mean? Our demographic like, yeah, they loved it same way. <laughs> but you know, you you know, Caribbean black, you know, church going, you know, I mean, adults and parents and people that have kids and, you know, I mean, some people that heard their kids on the radio being dismantled and so they're not handed. So the phone calls just flooded and, you know, I mean, they're like, you know, that was, you know, I mean, I think the second, to, first and second time I got fired from Flo and they brought me back. Like, you know what I mean? How but, long um, did that, that actual segment last for with you and Shooks? Um, up until Snakey's Corner, <laughs> you know. I remember. Listen, yeah, I, remember. I remember listening. Yeah. And some things you guys would ask and tell the people. It's yo, these guys are on radio and they don't <laughs> realize what you guys are doing. Mm-hmm. This is crazy. But mm-hmm. it was so entertaining that you would lock in. Yeah, yeah, man. We think, man. We used to think, yeah, man. We co- corporate takeover. We used yeah. to. You know, it didn't matter what airwaves we took that over. You know what I mean? So crazy. With the heat of reggae and yeah. dancehall, and that you know, and that was probably the in- inception of reggae and dancehall into the mainstream mm-hmm. during a prime time where it actually counts on radio. Because you know, on a Sunday, you know what I mean? It's like toilet bowl of radio. Do we need to cut or something like that? Sorry, I know I might be going off topic no, and all no, that. Because you know, I haven't done this before, people. Um, you finished? No, no, because no. <laughs> we can cut and edit. <laughs> no, we can cut and edit. You know. No, we're good. Mm-hmm. Fifty. Um, but yeah, as I said, that was the inception of, you know, where reggae and dance all really got into the main time frame of radio, where it actually counts, where it's rated in a rated show. Whereas when I was doing it on one to six in the morning, it didn't count in the ratings. Yeah. And it was commercial community radio, so they don't count that. Mm-hmm. And you know, I mean, when I was doing it on flow on the Sunday evening, they didn't count that in the ratings, so it didn't really matter. Oh, that didn't count Even either. though, Even though the, the numbers that we beat, you know, our numbers are high and all that, and yeah, it, was it didn't really count. It was just weird, you know, it was the way it was set okay. up. Yeah. So then this is this is where you're riding high, mm-hmm. and then I guess at the point where Flo got sold yeah. and everybody got cut, where were you in your career, and how did you feel when you got that cut right there? Man, at that time there, mm-hmm. As I said, it, number one, everything was just moving hot like fire, and I was really finding my groove. Yeah. You know what I mean, as how to bring that sound because, you know, I, there was no, I didn't really have anyone that I really looked up to. No one's really did what I did yeah, before. Point, there, there was no so I really map. started like locking in, you know, and going into Jamaica them times there and listening to, you know, me in Jamaica radio. So, what? you know, them times internet was swinging. Yeah. So I was able to listen to like, ZJ Chrome on uh-huh. Zip, ZJ Liquid, and listening how they, you know, bring that fire yeah. and that heat and the bombs and the, you know what I mean? And, you know, just loving that energy and vibe yeah. sort of thing. I started really bringing that energy here. And them times I had everyone come down to the show. It didn't matter if you were in Canada, I was bringing I you down to my show. And, you know what I mean? It was just fire. You couldn't miss my show. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And plus, think if you want to know why I go on, you to listen to my show. One time. You know what I mean? And then when it got cut, man, and the thing, I think, because they said that thing, I heard rumors that it was getting sold and all that. So yeah. it's funny because they called the meeting, you know what I mean? So I walked in there that morning and they're saying, oh, man, people are getting cut today. The same people are getting fired. Right? And I walked and said, yo, nothing can touch me around, yes, sir. <laughs> me are the big man around, yes, sir. You know, because I said, you know what I mean? We're destroying yeah. the place, me and Dr. Yeah. Joy. Yo, 
Right, so we're destroying the place, you know what I mean? It didn't matter what show, what station, what if you were on during our time, you're getting a landslide. Yeah. You know what I mean? Caribbean connection. Big up to Dr. J. Yeah. And um, yeah, man. So I walked in, I saw people coming out, you know what I mean, hurting and crying and you know what I mean. So I walked in there thinking everything good. They say, Yeah, well, uh, unfortunately, you know, we're moving station sold and we're moving and this and that and uh your services are no longer needed. <laughs> Reality check. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I said everything happened thing. And that was a really very dark day for me. Mm-hmm. You know, for about that year and a half, two years, it was a really dark, depressing time in my life. That's how long you were off radio for. Mm-hmm. For, for about, about a year, a and, year and a half, half to two years. Yeah, I remember I was doing radio from about like 95 and yeah. that was like 2010 or 11 or something yeah. like that. And wow. Yeah, man. And you know what I mean? To have something, you know what I mean? Just strip from you, knowing that you're doing your best and giving everything and, you know what I mean? Taking less while they're getting the most. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It was a day, I was in a really dark place in my life. I found out a lot, you know, about friends and you're the artists, that. them, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Some artists, them, you know, we used to link you every week, you know, when they're, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? A lot of things changed in my life, you know what I mean? Okay, it was a dark, was a depressing time. I could have went back to Morning Ride okay. and dealt with it and, thing, and, and being there, but. At that time, Morning Ride kind of morphed into its own thing, and I didn't yeah. want to go push in there. Push back and, and, and It's not to say push back. Anywhere I am, it doesn't matter what, where, why, when, how, me, I take over that. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. That's just yeah. me. I'm an Aries. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And mm-hmm. that's just what I am. You know what I mean? I'm a kind of you know, a control freak, freak, you. freak like that. So then how did now, where you're at your home, G987, how did that come into the fold now? Well, it's funny because, you see, before I'm... Um, because as I said, I had gotten word that Flo was going to get sold. Yeah. You know, I'm big up to Karen Kelly. Yeah. You know, and them times, G was like a, a dream, I guess. Well, mm-hmm. something that they were trying to make happy where Mr. Gordon, yeah. rest in peace. Mm-hmm. You know, we were, where um, he was really formulating. Karen Kelly worked at uh, Flo. Yeah. And she said, yo, I know someone that's starting a, a, a new radio station. And uh, it's going to be more Caribbean based. And I think it'd be a perfect fit for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? And... You know, here, take his number and call him. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, I didn't okay. call his number, eh? You didn't call him? didn't call his number. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then it wasn't until, like, when Flo was sold and all that, and then I saw the fru- it coming into fruition with G and all that, and I was, as I said, in a depressing moment, depressing time. You know, I, I think, you know, I called his phone. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He didn't answer. I called him. This is his personal number, eh? Yeah. I think. And you know me. I don't go to middlemen. You know what I mean? For, hence Dark. why I think I started carrying a portable studio, Got you. being the first person to cut dub plates on I a portable remember. studio because I'm not going to no middle studio or no manager or this thing. I'm going straight to the artist yeah. and dealing with that. And you know what I mean? So I called him one day. He happened to pick up his phone and I had like about like 20 minutes, about like 20 seconds to spill my guts because he was going to like the Ottawa to go and talk to the prime minister or something like that. Like, and he had told me this too. Yeah. And, um, Something like that. And um, and I had 20 seconds. I said, yo, sir, um, I just wanted to just call and let you know. I heard you point a radio station. I wanted to you know, figure out, you know, how can, you know, me apply for your station. You know I me, mean? I can be very helpful. And, you know, mm-hmm. he's like, you know, I don't have time for that right now. But um, come back in like a month time or whatever the case is. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, I think, you know, sometimes I'm like in depression mode and I was like it's a bad time in my life and I think you know me I'm I think I'm a hound yeah. you know what I mean I call that man probably like every week and a half two weeks you know what I mean he didn't answer the phone you know what I mean but thinking about like a month and a half time you know what I mean I actually called him and he said okay you know what I mean get your stuff together you know what I mean and send it to my people yeah you know what I mean and then at that time there shout out to Delroy G Delroy G was calling me okay um and saying, yo, you know what I mean? Delroy G, as a matter of fact, I wasn't even a thought on G. It was supposed, Delroy G was supposed to do the Saturday and the Sunday. Okay. And Delroy G sacrificed his Sunday yeah. so I could get onto G. That's you know what a, I mean? That's a real That's why you hear me, yeah, you know, yeah, I refer yeah. to him as the OG of G. Yeah. Delroy G. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But, um, you know, he said that, you know, I think you'd be perfect for it. You yeah. know what I mean? You know what I mean? And I, I had never talked to Delroy G up until these points. Now, like, I knew he is and... You know what I mean? But remember, I'm into my universe. I'm yeah. doing my own thing and all yeah. that. And, you know, and yeah, so he said, you know what I mean? He he set it up where, you know what I mean? Mr. G would, you know what I mean? Talk to me. And Mr. G just loved my energy. Mm-hmm. And 
I think I was the last person hired at G2. Yeah. <laughs> you, and, you just, you just mm-hmm. always seem to. But I would think, I would think, I would, I would think, because if you want something, and I said, I didn't, I, my my way was not traditional. Yeah. Like, I'd be sleeping at G, because G was in trial stages, Yeah. and the station would crash at night and time, and all that, so I'd have to be there and make sure I was DJing live, and, you know, so sometimes when okay. st- the station was playing at nighttime, mm-hmm. it's me DJing on it, but sounding like the radio, not talking or anything, okay. because I was there as a right. safety mode. I was yeah. like, there. The, the guard dog, yes. the safety mode. <laughs> Anything you know happen, what I mean? You pick it up. Yeah. Well, not necessarily, right. but, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. but you know what? Yeah, I know yeah. what you mean. Mm-hmm. No, that's crazy right there. And then, do you remember what year that was that you actually joined G? Mm, when it opened up, I was there for the launch party. You were there for the launch party. Yeah. And how long now have you actually been on G? Maybe six, seven years. Six, seven years, yeah. yeah. And I guess you've learned a lot. You've experienced a oh, lot. Oh, that's you've why seen I think, man, Mr. G is my, my Don. Because as I said, uh, you know, with all the other radio stations I was at, you know, you know, I was either doing one show here yeah. or, you know, the Sunday show on, you know what I mean, here and here. He gave me an opportunity. Because remember, as I said, I was sleeping in the station. So, you know, I learned how to input music. Mm-hmm. I learned what causes the system shutdowns, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Something went off with the alarm. I lived I lived like 10 minutes from the station. I zoom over there. Okay, you, know, Mr. Go, you know, Mr. God, no worry, my yeah. it, And you know what I mean? And, you know, make sure everything is in order and make sure everything's all right. So, you know what I mean? I started off doing the rhythm track. And then I remember I said I was always there. And even with the launch of the station, when Mark and Jem launched the station, I was there. Okay. Because I wasn't even hired for those, their show at that time yeah. there. But I just wanted to be a part of it. So he gave me the opportunity, you know what I mean, to learn the boards. And so I was doing the boards for Mark and Jem at them yeah. times there. You know what I mean? Learning how to input the music and, you know, learning the system there and all that. So then um, some personal things happened in my life. Yeah. You know, where my life just got uprooted, you know, mm-hmm. with my daughter. Okay. You know, where things just changed and I had to be there more for her and really step up as a father. Okay. And um, I had to change my schedule and Mr. Mm-hmm. Gordon and I think, and I was doing Grapevine also, hosting Mr. Gordon's show and learning the boards okay. and doing the talk show there, Didn't in which I had experience from learning that from Flo. Shout out to Nathan Downer yeah. on uh, CP24. He used to do the sports show there. And I used That's to do where he came he from originally. Me, he gave me the opportunity. I used to do the sports show there, and he gave me the I opportunity to do the boards for him there. Yeah, I so I, you know, was able to bring that DJ sound selecting of mixing and all that mm-hmm. stuff to the airways, and you know what I mean. So Mr. Gordon gave me the opportunity to learn on his show, mm-hmm. and taught by Plugs. Big up to Plugs, Damien, mm-hmm. um, how to do the boards and all that. So um, as I said, my life kind of changed, and I need to be more there, more for my daughter as a father. And, yeah. And um, we didn't know how to make that happen because I was like doing the morning show and, you know, my schedules were colliding and then, you know, being at the station and all that. And uh, he gave me the opportunity to do the evening show there. The evening show. You know what I mean? So that's how I was able to do it. He said, you know what I mean? I think this would be better for you. I think it's time. You know how to do everything. You can handle it. Yeah. And I never really took on a show myself. Hence where Specs at Night was born. Wow. Just like that, eh? Because I know Mm -hmm. when it comes to... Mr. G, Fitzroy Gordon, you and him seem to have a special kind of bond, a special type of relationship that actually carried you through and actually taught you the ropes when it came to the radio business from his point of view. All right. Where were you when the first time where you actually heard he was sick and you knew that something well, wasn't too right there? Get me to that. Um, you see with Mr. G, mm-hmm. um, he gave me that opportunity Yeah, because he believed in me because... As I said, you know, it doesn't matter if I'm getting paid to do it or yeah. I'm doing it for free. I'm going to do radio. My responsibility is totally different than a lot of DJs, yeah. MC sounds and selectors. And, you know, my parents come from Jamaica. I was born in Toronto, yeah, for sure. North York, you know what I mean, general. Okay. You know what I mean? And, you know what I mean? When we're born, I'm born here, I already lost yeah. part of that identity yeah. of my, yeah. you know what I mean? I learned about Jamaica through the music. Yeah. You know what I mean? So... My responsibility is to pass that on. At least I can do that through the music. So radio is different for me. That's my opportunity to let people learn about Jamaica, learn about the Like I learned about Tivoli Gardens, you know, through the music. Through the music. You know, so it's Sea View, through Shabbat. Through the music. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I learned, you know what I mean? Like there's enough little, you know, Zinc Fence, Garrison, through the you know, music. Gully. You know what I mean? Trench. You know what I mean? You're through the music. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I learned about, you know what I mean? The national dish and all these things. Even though when your parents are teaching you, you're not nah, listen. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Through the music. The music taught me all these little things. So it's my responsibility mm-hmm. to send it back to the people that I'm through. 
the radio and you know what I mean he gave me that opportunity because he told me his struggle to get that station yeah the fight he got to the station the devils even the devils them that are even showing up now trying to take the station and deal with the station yeah and not say trying to take because you know everything is hearsay you know to get to your points about when you got sick i'll get to you in a second but you know what i mean i know his struggle and as i said i didn't come through you know and i knew what it felt like when flow got sold yeah you know what I so mean? You know and I said that, that was a depressing murder. In your heart. So I have that in my heart. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not to only bust them up, in which I am busting them up in, in certain degrees too. Yeah. And even though we have a smaller rate, but you see in our radius, them can't step to it. Yeah. But um, you know what I mean? So I knew what his struggle was, and my, I already lost the station. You know what I mean? So, you know, I'm gonna do everything. And, and when another reason. I was able to be let go at Flow yeah. was because I was only doing the Sunday show. And as much as I was busting up the place and number one and all that, you know what I mean? I wasn't, they didn't see me during the week. Yeah. You know what I mean? I wasn't doing commercials. I couldn't put music into the system or I couldn't, you know what I mean? I wasn't able to do all that stuff. So I was, oh, he's only three hours. We can yeah. fill that up. Sure. You know what I mean? I think the very first show, yeah. you know, to show you how powerful I was, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. The very first show during my slime slot, you see the week that we got, um, that it got sold. Mm-hmm. You see, the next week when they had the next show, mm-hmm. they brought Drake to do a live interview during that show, during that time slot. What? And to even show, that's how powerful I know that thing Rhythm Track was. They had to fill that slot and make Drake the first person, and they did an interview during that time slot. See? Yeah. So what ended up happening, to show you how powerful I was, so Drake was inside the studio. You can even yeah. probably Google this interview right now, too. Yeah. You know, and go check it out. Um, you know, he's in the studio and Drake is like, yo, you know, big up to, you know, all the original people of Flow 935, blah, 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 blah. You know, shout out to Mark and Jen, my favorite morning show, blah, 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 blah. You know, big up, big up a few people on the station, Jay Wise, I think, and yes, somebody else. Yes, yes, Right? So they said, all right. You know, they, so they tried to cut him off. Yeah. Okay, we got to go to commercial because they didn't want to think. They don't want to go back. With radio, you don't go backwards. Yeah. You know, so they don't want people. They don't want just a race you. God. You know what I mean? So they said, oh, we got a commercial. Boom, went to commercial, whatever the case is. So I'm like in my house and I'm just chilling them times there. And thing they came back from commercial. I wasn't listening as a matter of fact because I think I was able to get the audio and listen back to after. Got you. But thing, so what ended up happening was they came back from commercial and I guess the 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 lines went crazy over there whatever the case. A mirror of our people, our community car said, yo, I want to Specs. Oh, you're not big up Specs. Oh, yo, I do reading. Tra- yo, Specs are the boss. And because hence the Specs are the boss started coming out and, you know what I mean, Ray Ray, so they started burning up the station. Right? Yeah. So when they came back on, Drake is like, yo, yeah. So they started trying to get back into the interview, forget about the past. He goes, yo, yo, hold on, hold on, before I forget. You know what I'm saying, man? Yo, man, I can't come here and big up all these people and I can't, I can't big up the rhythm track, man, the Specs, the Boss, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah man. Okay. Yeah, man. And that thing, that really, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. <laughs> not, not my feet, because them times, that thing, he was the new thing, but thing, from them time, he was the hottest thing until yeah. knowing him the hottest thing. Yes, yes. You know? You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? That's crazy. And that was just the power of, you know what I mean? And him knowing my thing, same way too, because you can't be in Toronto or have someone that lives in Toronto and, and they know. don't know who, you know, how, how my thing said. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, man. Crazy. But just to show you how that, yeah. you know what I mean? How powerful. You know, it was, you know what I mean? The power but yeah, man, that wow. was crazy. That's crazy right <laughs> now. That's crazy. Okay, let's, let's get to serious, and then we're going to get to something, and then get you out of here. You know, we didn't even talk about anything and stuff that like we were going to talk about. I didn't get to talk about no World Clash, no Jammer <laughs> Cruise, no we're Butcher. Getting, listen, you know what I mean? No Stylus Swords. Specs, I told is, you, didn't is, I tell you I didn't, listen, I didn't want to do this interview? Why did I tell you I didn't want to do this interview? This is my show. Why did I know that? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting there, Specs. Okay? This is, as I said, we're going to get a bit more serious, and then we're mm. going to get back into the fun of things, okay? Right. Okay. When you heard Mr. G pass now, hmm. how did that affect you? How did you feel? Where were you at that time there, when you heard that type of news right there? Mr. G was such an integral part of my life. That thing, he was the person that, you know, really kicked me in the butt to, you know, propose and get married okay you know like really an uh, integral mm-hmm. to like even so integral that my even my wedding you know it, he had it almost set up where we had uh you know and i shouldn't be i didn't sign no non-disclosure agreement <laughs> for this stuff here but i can talk to just to show you the kind of man that he was um when i proposed to wife like i even he knew he was one of the first people knew and like nobody knew okay he's like my parents no, I don't even think my sisters knew. Okay. My parents and Mr. G and I think that could have been it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That I told. Um, really? So um, what ended up happening, he goes, when he found out that I proposed and he heard, saw how, because he didn't even know how it was going to go down and all that and like that, like how the whole, you know, proposal thing all down. He goes, yo, man, you know what I mean? I, I think 
I know it's a startup station. I know thing. I haven't been able to pay you a lot and all that stuff and nothing. Because as I told you, I'll do it for free or you know what I mean. Because we're trying to build You're something. Hustling, yeah. And I know what it's like for a station to be sold, um, yeah. sold, and people don't understand it. You know what I mean? What it means? You know what I mean? For something that really defends the community, like other stations. You know what I mean? They don't care about our community. They're not talking about people getting killed in our community. Yeah. You know what I mean? The f- issues affecting our community. You know what I mean? People getting hurt in our community. You know what I mean? The issues that really, you know what I mean? So I, that's why I really loved about the station. So um, when the whole proposal thing went down, he called me in my office and said, you know what? You're not going to pay one cent for your wedding. I'll make sure your wedding's done for free. You know what I mean? And then he, he set it up where um, he met. We, I met up with the Jamaican tourist board and himself. Yeah. And my wedding was supposed to actually be done live, broadcasted, with the Jamaican tourist board involved, and you know what I mean, all the bells and whistles, okay. like, like some Kardashian type, yeah. you know what I mean, like, okay. you know what I mean. It was supposed to be done really, you know what I mean. And um, when I heard how he had gotten sick, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, he had thing left the station, and it's funny because, um, even as I said, my position changed at GM many times. Like I started doing the rhythm track, mm-hmm. then I started helping out you know, music department stuff with Roger Day, mm-hmm. Wagwan Roger. Mm-hmm. Then I started doing production at the morning show. Then I started doing the the, the Grapevine boards on that. Well, Grapevine, then the morning show. Started doing the boards. Then, you know, doing the schedule of all the people them that do all the board okay. op work yeah. as far as for live to airs and remotes and stuff. And, um, you know what I mean? So my change, even though my position was changing, my contract wasn't changing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just put it in, in, in certain words. So, you know what I mean? And in, in this thing here, you know what I mean? There's only a few opportunities, and sometimes you got to work with what you're dealt with. And make you know it, what I mean? Make so it count. He saw that, you know what I mean? That I sacrificed, and I really loved it. You know what I mean? I, I'm sacrificing up to this day. So, um, he had set it up, as I said, for the whole wedding proposal and all that. So, one day he called me to my, his office, and he says, um, you know, we need to discuss your contract. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it really hasn't changed. Yeah. Almost from day one. From you got there. You know what I mean? So um um we went thing set up up where we set up with the accounts and departments, you know, one of the bigger head of the management and um his uh, um executive assistant and uh redesigned up my contract, whatever the case is. And this was like I think right before my show, I went on a seven, so we called the meet for about five thirty or something like that. On a Sunday. Mm-mm. This is like during the week on a, like one of the weekdays. Mm-hmm. So um, after the meeting and everyone went home, my name is the G's thing was kind of different because I was there at night and he did a lot of his work at night. So it'd be like me and him alone it's in the studio. Link. Hence why a lot of times you hear him coming on my show or we do Christmas shows. Like times when the station was closed, yeah. he let me open up so I can play reggae music. Okay. So we can have our reggae, Chris, like things like that that you're not hearing on commercial radio. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like days when all radios are closed down, me and him used to go in and he used to come in and do those shows with me and sacrifice his Christmas to them. And we used to do like stuff like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Hence why are things different. So after we had that meeting, now to get back to that contractual meeting there we had, um, he came into my the station because I was on air now doing my show, and um, he said, "Yo, um, you know, I'm gonna go away for a bit. Yeah. You're not gonna see me. I'm leaving the office for a bit because um, I have to start dealing with the TV stuff. Yes. I have to start dealing with some bigger issues outside the station. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, as a, a black entrepreneur and a black business, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes when you have when you're trying to help our own people and all that, they take." Sometimes advantage of it, you know what I mean? The entire You know, situation. coming to work a little later or you're not doing what they're supposed to do or not putting their hundred in this, that, and all that. And he says, and I, and he goes, I feel, you know what I mean? Even, you know what I mean? People aren't, you know what I mean? Really, you know, respecting the thing I have here, you know what I mean? Because, they, you know, everyone's too comfortable, you know, yeah. when people see each other too much, you know what I mean? So I'm mean, going to take myself away for a little bit. And... You know what I mean? But I'll still think I'm here with you for everything. You think you have my number and you have my other number and you have my house mm-hmm. number. You have the direct you know what I mean? link. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you can call me for anything. You know what I mean? Whatever. And, you know what I mean? and that was like the, after that, he told me that I didn't know that that would be the last time I saw him. This man told me he's going away for a bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, but we soon link up, but you know, if I'm in whatever case. So he didn't tell you he was actually sick at that moment. No, right? I didn't even know. Thing. Yeah. Even thing, I heard the, I heard the, all this stuff. On the road that he was six and all that, and going to the that, that we're going to a barber shop or yeah. you know what I mean just a lot of people because you know Mr. G was not a normal man you know what yeah. I mean he's so if he's thinking and I heard the rumors and it was never ever confirmed at the station and never ever got an email about it it was you know never I mean? something official 
No, the thing yeah. the people in the station didn't really know. No, Mr. G was a very private man. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He was a very, very private man. And I understand, I understand now. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm just upset I didn't get that chance to, you know what I mean? Tell him how much, you know what I mean, he did for my life and how much he changed Okay, so life. from you, basically from that meeting, you haven't really, see, you didn't see him again Mm-mm. from there. Yeah. I didn't see him again, man. Yeah. Wow. That's- this man told me thing. He said thing. You know what I mean? Hold down the station. Yeah. You know what I mean? I trust you. You know, one of the few people that I know that, you know, will take care of this. You know what I mean? You know what I went through for this. You know, protect with all your heart. And you know what I mean? That's why, you know, anyone watching this podcast and all that, you know what I mean? As I said, nothing with our station. As I said, everything is governed yeah. there in a sense of Mr. G is a very private man. You know what I mean? The very, very few details that I know, but I do know that, you know, so there's a time where he had to go and, you know, dig back and fight for his thing and go buy back majority of his, his shares. shares and stuff mm-hmm. like that, you know, which he told me he had to do, go yeah. do. And I think that was one of the things what he said he had to go and do too. Or take care of When he had stuff. to go, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And bounce. So he told me basically, you know what I mean? He said goodbye to me. I just didn't really understand what he was saying. But you know how big West Indian man stay. They're going to tell you a thing, but not until you look back, you really understand what he was telling you. Like you have to you have to look back because he's telling you he's telling you say yo I'm gonna move off you know but you didn't really understand what kind of move off he's talking mm, about but, thing, but it was funny back. because I had heard mm-hmm. you know what I mean and I said I know I shouldn't be spilling my guts but you know Muscle I've always been straight up with you about everything you know good times and bad times always. you've always been me Muscle it was the kind of person where we're in the middle of a clash and I select the wrong tune yeah. you know in the middle of a clash you'll <laughs> stop me in the middle of a clash say yo Oh yeah, we play that tune ever. Yo, you play the yeah. You know what I mean? And you know what I mean that we talk about it after and all that and what. But um, I didn't understand at that time. You know what I mean? That it was you know what I mean him basically kind of saying goodbye because he was in the office. You know what I mean trying to seal up some things and it was actually Kerry that came into the office one day and he said, "Yo, I think something happened with Mister G." Yeah. And I said, "What are you talking about?" You know what I mean? Because I think my meeting was like about like four, three, four days before this. And I remember when the weekend comes up, you know, my thing's mm-hmm. different. And uh, at that time there, I think he was doing grapevine from his house because he had like a studio at his house okay. or something like yeah. that. You know, <laughs> yeah. it sounded better than yeah. the studio at the station too. You know what I mean? So yeah. thing, like, things like that. So things were like changing. So I never really saw him. And um, he said that thing um, that they carried him out in an ambulance or something like that. From the back station, what are you talking about? And I like, I literally just walked in the front door, and they said yeah. thing. I said, what are you talking? I just walked in the door, and he said, no, because he was so private. Yeah, you know what I mean. That I think he went through Had the other through door. The you know what I mean, so that nobody could see him. Got you it. know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? So thing. So then I'd heard, okay, he's okay, whatever the case is. But this time I know that he was taking his time off, and mm-hmm. you know that's the only real looking back at everything, real inclination that I think maybe. That could have been maybe the trigger of something else that happened. But to this day, I really don't know what happened. I don't mm. want to question what happened. I just know that he left a legacy, you know what yeah. I mean? Not only for, you know what I mean, his employees and our community, but our community's children, their children, 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 children. And people don't understand. And I hear the rumors on the road about, oh, the station's this and that. And as I said, with our station, they, it's governed in such a private manner, like Mr. Gordon, I really don't know. And I hear, and people come up to me on the road and I don't know what to tell them. Yeah. And I honestly don't know what to tell them. But I do know that if you're thinking these things or hearing these things or feeling these things, especially knowing what we went through when we lost Flo, yeah. you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Do something about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do something about it. Be proactive you know I mean? and don't let it just you know I mean? run rampant. And, thing, 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 and as forward. I said, I don't know, and it's not my place. And I'm thinking, I'm not saying we're not beg no money and we're not beg nobody nothing or anything like that. But if people feel that in their heart, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Do something about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do something about it. I'm proactive. there. I'm doing what I'm, you know what I mean? And I know there's so much more I can do. And yeah. reg- DJing and radio is not what I want to do. I know there's more. I, know. I think I know my callers, calling is bigger than this. Yeah. You know, I'm supposed to be doing more for my community, you know what I mean, for especially with what's going on in our community stuff. And I know my calling is bigger. But you know what I mean? I'm just one person. I need help. You're, you're in the right... You're in the right place to do the right things that you're doing right now, Specs. Specs, as I said, bro, you know how proud we are to see where you actually came from to where you are right now? People don't understand your attitude sometimes they think you're standoffish but it's not really stand i'm very standoffish okay but, but is it because I'm my, my, my father's son okay. and i think and, and you know this game here still you know what i mean uh, 
Like I was taught from very early how to spot a general. You yeah. know what I mean? You can't general me. You know what I mean? You can try, but if you're general yeah. me, believe me, yeah. I'm getting something back out of the deal. Yeah. You know, it's a win -win but um, for all parties. Anything, and you know, in our game, you know what I mean? We've been general a lot, and people you always try to rip us off, and you know what I mean? You, you know what I mean? Back in those days, they're like the 94s, 93, 94, 95, when you try to book a dance and you make a deal with a person at the end of the night, you know, they want to give you a $60 and a Heineken. And a Heineken and, and call you know what I mean? A six pack of Heineken, and you know what I mean? And it, you know what I mean? So I've been general a lot of times, hence why I don't do dance hall dances, because you see all these guys wearing their Versace, Louis Vuitton, <laughs> Balenciaga, Ferragamo, I pose up, blinged up, yeah. this, that, and all that. And then, and then, then that, the they don't want to pay you, you it's know, what you deserve. Story. And you're doing your work, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Hence why I'm, I'm kind of standoffish, you know what I mean? Because okay, so I've been purpose. burnt a lot of times in the but game. But I guess that's to also guard you also, so not a lot of people get in to really get to talk to you or because there's a million people that want to get you at all the time thing uh, as i said uh, you know with our era mm -hmm. you know and being general and you know me seeing what we've seen you know we've been in dances where mm -hmm. men literally getting shot and killed in front of you and mm -hmm. you know what i mean it, like and i don't even like really doing a lot of public stuff you know what i mean i get a lot of you know anxiety and stuff like that from For that sure. stuff there because you know I me mean? a lot of stuff that triggered i don't know if it's like post post depression or post traumatic stress disorder yeah i should ask my, my wife about that yeah, yeah ptsd yes <laughs> yeah, yeah um but um for instance like that dance i don't know if you remember this i can always that's why i love talking to you because yeah. i don't know if you remember there was a dance by like i think it was bellamy and elsmer in a warehouse yes and um yes, yes. you know what I mean i don't want to get into the exact of the who's and the what's and the where's and the why's and the when's but i just know that because the sounds them hated me and you know dance hall promoters hated me they gave me problems getting into the door yeah, okay you know what i mean made the police them all search me and pull up my record box and yeah. all that you know what i mean while them times their 10 15 guns are going through the back door and stuff like that and um i'm not gonna get into specifics of what happened and all that but i don't think about 83 gunshots busting that dance I remember to the point where some sounds started the... using it as a sample yeah and them times we had the, the hotline number and somebody always used to call yes. the hotline yeah. And they used to play the audio of the 83 gunshots and say, huh, you hear that? Huh, hear that? Bah, 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 bah. And I remember in that dance there, everyone was flat and all that. Slim Trim was down there on the ground. Yes, with the, with on the, the ground. Yes, And then you know me, as I said, I'm a person that always protects the assets yeah. and all. So everyone's there. You know what I mean? I'm here putting all the dub block, dubs back in the box and putting yeah. all the records, getting everything. You know, and everyone's running out the place and all that. You know what I mean? Because I you know... You know, once the police get there and they seize your stuff, yeah. you know what I mean? That's Everything five, is, six weeks, your stuff is gone, or if not gone forever. And, and that's all your food, you that's all your money, you know what I mean? Can't manage you know what I mean? So I'm here walking and, you know what I mean, carrying all this stuff out there, but you know what I mean? But you know what I mean? There's just so many things like that, you know, that's happened that made me be standoffish. Yeah. You know what I mean? Another example of how great Mr. Gordon was, um, Taste of the Danforth, we do it every single yes, year. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? I refuse to do Taste of the Danforth every single year. I used to refuse. Yeah. And I said this whole thing. We were arguing. He's like, no, you have to do it. And I said, Mr. Gordon, I don't like doing because, you know what I mean? We've seen what happens. You know what I mean? We've been there. We've seen all Too the bad growth. stuff happen. You yeah. know what I mean? Hence why I play a lot of the different type of clubs and all that stuff because security is more thing. And as yeah. I said, I grew up in a different time frame where I went to high school, college, you know what I mean, met a lot of different people, professionals and all that. I can't be bringing them to certain places where security is like a placa taka ting tang and, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, and gunshot. I can't put people's life at risk because, you know, I'm yeah. responsible for that. For sure. You know what I mean? So, Mr. Gordon, so he's like, no, you have to do it, whatever the case is. You know, it's a great opportunity. We got to expand the brand, you know what I mean? You know, this is a community that we don't have that, you know, is very important. And, you know what I mean? And I said, I don't think I can't do it, sir. You know what I mean? I think I can't do it. He goes, and I, I, he goes, what's going to make, take, make you do it? So I, I tried to call his bluff. Yeah. I said, the only I'm going to do is if you do it with yeah. me. <laughs> okay. He goes, all right. Yeah. I'll do it with you. So you know what I mean? No. So then where did that You see the thing that day it takes a bad day for it? I thought he wasn't yeah. going to show up, so I wasn't yeah. going to go, eh? Yeah. And he called me. He said, yo, I'm here. I'm two hours early. Where are yeah. you at? Yeah, man. Yeah. So he was the thing. So if everybody, you know, went to Taste Dad where they noticed, I always stayed in the background DJing and Mr. Gordon hosted the show. God. You know, and a lot of people were like, oh, why are you making Mr. Gordon take over your show? Why do you think it's your show? He's, he's on the radio too much. He owns the station, blah, 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 blah. But people didn't understand he was helping me to be comfortable in that God. environment. Got you. And mm -hmm. that, that, that's really big as an owner to really mm -hmm. make sure that he's anybody has man. around him is very comfortable mm -hmm. specs that's so big so big so big let's get into some of your accomplishments now okay you were rushing me on 
my program. <laughs> no, we didn't talk about it. Let's get into it. Okay. Let's talk about some, probably let's talk about the most obvious one right now. Let's just get straight to it. Right now, when it comes to Specs, the boss, and King Turbo, where is that relationship right now today? Um, it is really complicated. Okay. Um, I didn't even want to answer this, but um, but I will answer it to a, a degree. Okay. Um, to me, mm-hmm. the relationship with Specs, the boss, and King Turbo is there's no separation to me, you know what I mean? In the sense that, you know what I mean? King Turbo's DNA, my DNA is so embedded into Turbo, you know what I mean? I, as I said, you know what I mean? Hence why I never really had full-time jobs and stuff. Like I invested my life into that. Yeah. So as much as, yeah, a slingshot started the sound, yeah. and then him and Ricky went off and, and did their thing, I, I sacrificed and put a lot of years into the sound, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And since about like 2001, no, yeah, probably about just after we closed the studio. Yeah. About 2001, 2002, 99% of the dub plates, them, mm-hmm. if not 100%, I've had my hand in and done, you know what yeah. I mean? And, you know, I'm big up to a tool. For sure. You know what I mean? Because, you know what I mean? Me and a tool are the really ones that, you know what I mean? Dealt with that. They didn't yeah. have to deal with that, you know yeah. what I mean? As far as, you know what I mean? Getting the artist, them, financing the dub. Like, they didn't do any of that stuff there. You know what I mean? Like, it was more like me and, you know, a tool in the earlier parts, me and Shooks, them, you know, running, doing the dubs, them, you know, me and Jamin, big up to Jamaiti, you know what I mean? Get the dubs, them, me shout out to Sestan, you know what I yes. mean? It's really, you know what I mean? Us really, you know what I mean? Dealing with that. And then even after everyone, not say everyone dropped off, but real life sets in. Okay. You know, people have kids, you know, have family. As a song crew, it's, it's hard to maintain you know what that mean? type and, of level. And uh, you know what I mean, and and it is very very hard to maintain. You know what I mean, whether financially, you know what I mean, timing wise, because everything is timing. There's so many factors that go into everything. And um, you know when Slingshot reti- retired, like maybe two or three times, four yeah, times. I remember? You know what I mean? Remember when everyone else fell off and wasn't dealing with? It, I was always there. You know what I mean? I was thinking, I, you know what I mean? And I eventually, and it's not something I wanted because I was, I was always a laid back person, safe background, didn't like, you know, the environment, this and that, you know what I mean? But I became the face of the sound, you know what I mean? It's not something I intentionally wanted. 100%. You know what I mean? So, and you know what I mean? And I'm the one that thing dealt with all the artists, them and all that. And you know what I mean? Because to this day, you know what I mean? There's very few artists that those guys really know. As I said, I dealt with all that, you know what I mean? A tool helped, you know what I mean? Finance it until I was able to get on and start financing it myself and help him same way too, you know, and shout out to BJ and Seth Dunn and, you know what I mean, to, you know, all those that help contribute, you know what I mean, Mm -hmm. to, you know what I mean, a lot of things, but yeah, man, so when those guys weren't dealing with it and couldn't deal with it, you know what I mean, it was us dealing with it, and you know what I mean, you know what I mean, and as I said, hence my relationship with them is, it's complicated in a sense because, um, when I want to, you know what I mean, start taking things different in my life and my things started changing, yeah. you know what I mean, as far as like proposal and all that, Slingshot had entered us into the Canada Rumble. Didn't talk to anyone. Yeah. And that was another thing that, you know, where I had kind of problems because, you know, a lot of times when I want to plan little things or, you know, sound clash, you know, it changes your life. Of course it You know what I mean, when you have a clash, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. Do I, you know, order a turkey sandwich or uh, do I get a bag of chips? You know what I mean? You know what bag mean? It's expensive. So I could, so I could it's sit. very, very, very expensive. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? There's a time when these guys would take clashes, but because they weren't really invested financially in it or it wasn't them that had to go and get the dubs them because there was time when I had to fly to Jamaica and go, you know, line up the two artists them. Remember, yeah. I had the portable studio, so I was yes. able to cut a lot of things out. You know, I'd have to drive here, drive here, take a flight here. A lot of people don't know. And, and I have my radio show to deal with, so I can't really leave town too much. So I'm leaving for like two three days, days, three days, in and, out. in and out, you know what I mean? And, you know what I mean? And really dealing with this and all that. So, you know what I mean? It was just, you know what I mean? Something that I, you know, I had to do. So things kind of, you know what I mean? Took kind of a different course and all that. And it just became a thing where um, I was doing everything, and you know, and you know, and my life just started changing. I proposed to my wife. Yeah. Shot took the Canada Rumble Clash, mm-hmm. and um, 
that time things got postponed because I was supposed to propose even a bit earlier. So things got okay. postponed because you know Canada things change. You know what I mean? I gotta you know work on all these little so things and all that. Actually, winning <laughs> Canada Rumble complicate the situation and the relationship more, or what did actually winning for now? me? Mm-hmm. I think. You know, and even I can't speak, for instance, like for others in the crew and all that. Yeah. But for me, it complicated it in the sense that um, when we want Canada Rumble, yeah, I wanted to take a, a hiatus, you know, to really start, you know, planning for my my wedding. wedding. Because if I'm correct, um, I had proposed just before that, then Canada Rumble came up or something like that. Okay. So um, I couldn't do that because um, World Clash was coming up, and as I said, I'm like. To me, I was like the catalyst, you know, to make a lot of things happen. The nucleus, sure. you know what I mean? Cutting the sure. making the links, flying here, you know, voicing and, you know what I mean? Providing the elements and the ingredients, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So that slingshot can mix down tunes or whatever the case is. And um, at that time there, when we won it, you know, almost immediately, slingshot said, yo, I'm taking a hiatus from the sound. I'm not coming back to sound till June. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we're like, you know, world clash is coming up. And at that time, I was kind of taking an you know, idea. Mm-hmm. You know, so Slingshot can't be out of the race. And, you know, I mean, how are we going to get ready for, you know, world clash? Mm-hmm. And it's in June. Yeah. You know what I mean? So my role kind of changed again. No, where I had to, you know, me and Tool had to start cutting dubs. And, you know what I mean? Jamin had to start cutting dubs. And, you know what I mean? I had to get, you know, all the stuff together. You know what I mean? Cutting dubs, dub, 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 dub. So, you know, when June came and I thought, okay, I can get a break. And, you know what I mean? Thing, you know what I mean? Slingshot yeah. didn't come back. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't until about like a two weeks or one week before World Clash that he came back. So them times I'm even hiring, you know, man, you know, I'm a very private person. And, yeah. you know, Slingshot is, our, our, you know, he mixes down the tune. That's them, the and, you know what I mean? Was, you know what I mean? Them yeah. times I'm big up to Love Jones. I'm hiring Love Jones yes. to, you know, come to my studio yeah. uh, by my base. And, you know what I mean? And we're up there, you know, mixing down tunes. And, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm having to, you know, pay another engineer yeah. to do, you know, this kind of work. There. At the same time, as I say, it was a learning experience because I learned how to do a lot of different things, yeah. making me more so self-sufficient and independent for myself. But... Yeah, and and them times, you know what I mean, and you know what I mean. We had just barely linked up back with uh, Ricky back to the sound, same way time, same way too. Yeah. Hence another reason why I had to try and make that work because there wouldn't have been like if Slingshot never really retired, yeah. you know, a few times and all that, and you know, if the workload, you know, what I mean, when I started taking on more load and all this and that and all that, and then you know, when him and Ricky started going off and doing. There are arguments back and forth and all that. Yeah. And then, you know, Ricky crying about, oh, my dubs, my dubs, my dubs. Hence, Ricky hasn't paid for a dub since 1996 <laughs> and still hasn't put in a penny for a dub to this what? day here. So that's yeah. why when people come to me, I always bomb up, what dubs? You know what I mean? Thing, you know what I mean? And everything I have, you know what I mean? Contracts, yeah. Western unions, and you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? What dubs you own? You know what I mean? These are like, he you know, if anyone's dubs, they're supposed to be time. a tool. Dub, yeah. But anyways, so when he was going off and, you know what I mean, weird thing, you know, I mean the black rack um what was their name mighty Brooke. crown and um addies addies clash tag well, team tag when team? i introduced you serato when i it? introduced serato to dance off okay. yeah man yeah. Thing, the first time you know me sing shot then we're like wait what does he can't use this yeah. and all that you know I me mean, scratch gave it to me as a gift um one time you know when it just started and you know we had like a few that we supposed to give to influencers and people you, that changed you. the game and i was okay. one of the people that you yeah. know what i mean he saw that you know would use it yeah you know what i mean and, and that's how i introduced it because even when mighty crown i'm like oh, yeah, in order with a laptop. Them time I'm like spitting through them. You know what I mean? No way. So um, anyways, um, so after, you know, all that and they were going off with the thing, I just got tired of it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like just got tired of the arguments. And at that time I was like, you know, I'm trying to, you know what I mean, do my own thing. And I was like, you know what? I can't leave it like this until, you know, we put it, I put it back together. Yeah. You know what I mean? No matter, you know, what me and him went through, you know what I mean? And believe me, you know, he's done me some things that I will never, ever, you know what I mean, say yeah. and, and talk. But um, um, I just had to put it back together, you know what I mean? And because so, you know, I linked King up with Turbo his brother. Baby. baby. I linked up with his brother, um, Nolan, mm-hmm. and um, and I linked up with Suspense. Because Suspense, you know I me, mean? he has the median between everybody. Yeah. And I said, yo, man, I don't know what's going to work, but you guys got to try and make it work. You know what I mean? That's how the sound got back together. And then we introduced it at... Um, when dubs the nice, I think it was. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. But I think, but I couldn't leave it in that state. So, 
You know what I mean? Because I need to rest. I've been doing this so long. You know, everyone's been taking their hiatus and everyone was retiring. Yeah. And everyone was even quitting. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But, you know, this is what I do. You know what I mean? As I said, my responsibility is different than other people's. Yeah. So, um, you know what I mean? And this is the only thing I really know how to do. You know what I mean? So, yeah, you know, put it back together. And so he took his hiatus till June would end up to be October, which kind of stifled my plans again. Yeah. And, um, you know, then when World Clash came up, went to New York. You know what I mean? We won. But uh, one reason why I didn't really like clashing, I don't really like taking clashes because... As much as we won, it wasn't something I'm proud of, you know what I mean? It wasn't something I was proud of, you know what I mean? It was a, it was accomplished, yeah. but it wasn't fulfilling because because of the fact that because Shot came back so late, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? All 10 of us, the rest of the 10 of us that were at the song, we live in the East. Yeah. Them times, Ricky lived in the West, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But Ricky thing, because he's so hard, that I ain't coming to the East, uh, you guys have to come. So all 10 of us, tell, you know what I mean? Yeah. Going, you know <laughs> what I mean? So Kim. things were just, you know what I mean, hard and all that. So when we got there, you know what I mean? And remember, as I said, I'm responsible for cutting the dubs. And a lot of people don't understand, young sound men and selectors, you guys don't understand this. When you're cutting dubs and customs and all that, mm -hmm. Just because the sound selector has it and all that, he's the one doing it and mixing all this, it's important for everyone to be there. If you're not there while it's being voiced, it's important for everyone to be there, at least while mixing it down. Yeah. Because you can hear when certain sound names are called or when certain punchlines have to be hit and all that. Yeah. So now when you're coming into the game late and all that, and you have all these customs and all that, and you're talking over parts that you're not supposed to talk over because and all you that. Don't know. And everything's sloppy and yeah. everything wasn't organized and all that. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then even at World Clash, because the thing, we weren't really organized, because Shot, he's more of a uh, free-spirited kind of selector. Like, okay. he's off of vibes. Like, from a buckle, bro, a buckle yeah. smash, yeah. he selected a tune that says, uh, like, car crash, buckle <laughs> smash, y'all <yark, yo, laughs> yeah. show a flop. You know what I mean? He's yeah. that type of selector. He doesn't Got you. like to plan Got you. for it. Got you know what I mean? But I'm a very technical and organized person. You know Agreed. what I mean? That's what I brought totally to the whole agree. game and all that. So, you know what I mean? When we were playing, everything's not smooth. Like, out of all the clashes that we've ever done yeah. as Turbo, I've never listened to any of them. The only one that I've ever listened to was once was the Mighty Crown Clash. Okay. Because I know I was in control. I was mixing. I can hear me and Mighty practice for yeah. it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we knew what was happening. You know what I mean? That it was clean. Yeah. Appeasing to the air. Because remember, even just the way, even when I DJ, you know what I mean? It has to be appeasing to the air. You know what I mean? I'm not like those DJs that are going to talk every song. Fling song. Fling I think, song. Or, you know what I mean? Or listen to the punchline in your headphone and talk, 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 talk when it's about to come over crossover. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm not that kind of, you know, everything. Technical. I'm very technical, you know what I yeah. mean? My mixing has to be on and all that. Because when you listen back to it, it has to sound like a CD. You yeah. know what I mean? It has yeah. to sound clean. Agreed. So I can't listen back to the Clash Gym yeah. because... You know what I mean? Everything seems rushed or, you know, the talking wasn't on point or, you know what I mean? And most time because I also felt I could do better, you know what I mean, if I had more control or better by myself. That makes true. Okay, you brought up something. You said when you guys won World Clash, the first one, mm -hmm. you weren't 100% satisfied. Yeah, I wasn't 100% satisfied. Would you say that because you it was probably... a thing Because it should have been a clean win. No, but how and about also, this? And also, you have yeah. to keep in mind, you see... One thing a lot of people don't know is that thing. When you're a selector, you know what I mean? You're the nucleus. You know, everything basically runs through you. Yeah. And uh, you have to know people's personalities and how 1, they clash. And one thing, agree. if you ever think, see in clashes and all that, for instance, you'll always notice I don't talk to nobody. I'm always staying working on music mm -hmm. and I always stay out of sight. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because, you know, if selectors them see you, then you, you're in the spotlight. Yeah. Oh, see specs that we hide from. You know, specs close, you know what I mean? They don't see you out of sight, out of mind. So I always stay in the darks and, and doing my work. So, um, you know what I mean? At World Clash, you know, during the clash, you know what I mean? Ricky's all over talking to people and, you know, with the artists them mm -hmm. and, you know, this other sound men them, you know, being Mr. You're to keep it, personality. You're trying to keep it contained. Let's yeah, just no, stay he's here. Not, thinking, not saying he's contained, you know, he's doing his own thing, but he's not listening to what the mic talker is saying. He's yeah. not listening to what the song is playing. Got you. And, you know what I mean? All the things there because, you know I mean? They're too busy trying to appease to the, those guys them who really don't matter at the end of the day when we're in the middle of the war. Yeah. And then, you know, Slingshot's the kind of person every time you know I mean a round is done or whatever your case is you know slingshot he's outside you know smoking a cigarette yeah. you know whatever the case is because he feels that thing but they're not 
he's not listening back. So during that whole world clash, mm -hmm. my whole role changed again. You know, man, big up to John Mighty because um, during every round, it's me and Mighty selecting all the songs then. Okay. You know what I mean? Oh, they played this. Take it out of the crate. You know what I mean? Put this in the crate, whatever the case is. But I mean, him built the whole crate. So all those guys had to do was show up. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you know what I mean? I just didn't like the workload that was added and the pressure on me. I didn't wasn't able to do what I wanted to do, but I guess that's what I was ordained to do because I've always been Which that nuclear sense. person and I've always known those guys' personality. So after the clash, you know what I mean, I wanted to take the time off to, um, you know, prepare for my wedding and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And I, I told them, yo, I'm going to take the time off. And I had to, like, almost raise slingshot before he did it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was like, yo, you know what I mean? I'm like, done, right I'm at that. First. And the thing, the thing, it's something, thing. Mm -hmm. And I always kind of thing, I, I knew I had to do it, but, um, it was just the right time also because I didn't want anyone to say, oh, you did this at the worst time when the sound was the worst or whatever the case is. It was at the t I left the top. I brought that yeah. to the top of the mountain. I promised that and I brought that. Just like I promised, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That I'd cut bear salmon. No one believe it. Cut it. Yeah. You know, that I cut. Who else did I say? There was a thing. Barrington Levy, Shinehead, Maxi Priest. You know, there's a thing because it was like, it's a game to me. You know what I mean? Said you it's a card it game. It. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? I have to get one of, mm -hmm. you know, some of everything. And you know what I mean? Yep. So, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? I did what I did. And you know what I said? You know what I mean? The sound is so great and it's built so great and the combinations that I built that mean a tool you know wrote and you know created and all everything is so great I can take this time off and I don't want to be investing into clash and all that stuff because I got to start preparing for my wedding start yeah. being serious about you know what I mean yeah. my wedding's like a less than a year away and stuff whatever the case you is you have to be on it so I had to take that time off and all that so um during that time you know what I mean I won't call you know what I mean the selector's name mm -hmm. even though I should and you know but um, it was asked to me, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Oh, duh, because up to this time here too, you know what I mean? I never really spoke to those guys because I don't know if they took it personal or that, you know what I mean? I hadn't spoken to them. So like two months turned into three months, yeah. four months, five months, got married, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And still, still never bored. talked to them, you know what I mean? Nobody called me, whatever case is. So I'm not calling, you know what I mean, nobody because I'm a person of pride and ego, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? After I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this. You know what I mean? No one's ever sacrificed. You know what I mean? That I sacrificed. You so know what I mean? For we this. could actually say, so, okay, so then I guess. So what ended up happening? Somebody must have asked me. They said, yo, World Clash is coming up. Are you going? Yeah. I said, no, I'm not going. They said, this why? This is the second World Clash. And one in Toronto, yeah. in my hometown, okay. where I'm supposed to be there representing. Yeah. You know, this is what I'm, you know what I mean? I'm, this is what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm supposed to do this. You know yeah. what I mean? You're holding so what ended your up, people. So what ended up happening is, um, what ended up happening was, as I said, um, time passed, didn't hear from them, whatever the case, and somebody must ask, are you going to the World Clash? I said, no, I'm not. You know what I mean? I haven't heard from those guys, whatever the case is. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, thank you. You need to go. Those, they can't win without you. Yeah. I said, what are you talking about? A monkey could play King Turbo and win that clash. Are we yeah. at chat boat? <laughs> you know what I mean? And in Toronto on top of it? Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know how it got back, but it got back to them. That's all oh, the man. He said that they can't win without him. Whatever the case is, and, it was and turned that around. was almost. And I think you. they was set up thing. I think they said the same thing that Mighty had said that too. And you know, I mean, the man started moving different, and you know, what I mean, so thing. I didn't know this at the time. You know, what I mean? but thing. I had feeling like some feelings came, but I didn't care because you know, what I mean, you're I have things to deal with. You're on to. And at the same time, I'm specs. You know, yeah. what I mean, I didn't come here and make my name off you. My name. I brought my name with you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what so, we're, you're going to say is basically right now, what you said in the beginning, this the whole relationship with you and King Turbo today, September 16, 2019, it's complicated. That's the it's basic takeaway in a that sense, we could get. Um, I said and we didn't talk even up to World Clash. I was at home playing video games with my daughter and it hurt and I wanted to be there and all that, but... I just couldn't be there because up to this time, I have not talked to the men. The men have yeah. not called and after. And it's one thing, okay, you diss me, but yeah. you know what I mean? That's how they were dealing with the tool, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's how they were dealing with Mighty, too. You know what yeah. I mean? Okay. You know what I mean? And yeah. thing, I, I didn't understand it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Nor did I care at the same time, but. To really. You know what I mean? How are you going to deal with things? After everything I've been. I'm telling you, like, when gunshots are busting up, dancing, I'm putting those dubs and carrying stuff by myself. Those guys are already in the car and at their house. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. While you know what I mean? While they're at the dance, song. while they're out yeah. going to do this, that, with nothing. That, I'm on my house, you know, or wiping back off the records and organizing back yeah. the stuff and all that and get, you know what I mean? Making sure that you're you know what I mean? So, me, 
You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Me, guy? You know what I mean? It's one thing, it's you know what I mean? A lot of selectors that go on a sound. And I said, you know what I mean? And this is another part too, but <laughs> as I said, um, the sound is slingshot sound, and I know that. Yeah. But for the time and the energy and the money and the sacrifices I made for it, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? You can't tell me sound on my sound. Yeah. You know what I mean? From that and at the end of the day, that point of view. you know what I mean? He could never tell me, oh, I can't play the dubs them. Yeah. You know what I mean? I could maybe tell him he can't play the dubs then. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Okay. But you know what I yeah. mean? I know what I signed on to, what I yeah. got. You know what I mean? So you know, you you know, know, know your role and we in have our thing, organization. But it's just complicated between yeah. me and him. And, and it doesn't have to be. It's just that after, you know what I mean, the world clash, the first world clash, and then going into the second and not really dealing with it, you know what I mean? About like two, three months after world clash, yeah. Ricky called me. And he's like, yo, man. Congratulations, man. You got a second world clash. I said, Ricky, go f yourself. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know how you call me now? You know what I mean? I think, you know, we got married and this and that. How you call me now after, after the whole the thing? You know what I mean? And deal with me. But it was only because him and Shot started catching up and going through their little thing. But I didn't know what you was going on. You didn't know what was going on. I you know what I mean? Okay. So he think, he started off, yo, man, we all need to link it, whatever the case is, and me, whatever, blah, blah. You know, Shot's taking bookings. I'm not getting half of my, uh, this is what he's saying. I'm not getting yeah. half of my down payments. He's taking bookings. I'm not getting half of the down payments. Um, you know what I mean? They're doing this and that. I'm not getting half of this. You know what I mean? The dub plates, I'm not getting that. You know what I mean? So I'm saying like, yo, half? Yeah. What are you talking about half? So... It's one thing, you know what I mean, which, actually, no, I'll leave that. Just think, I'll, think, I'll leave that for another time. <laughs> but it's one thing, you're saying half. So if you're saying half, 50-50, and it's me and a tool, you know, and even people like, even like Jamin and Sess and BJ that have helped a little along the way. But at that time, majority of the work being done by me and a tool, yeah. you know what I mean, and not by him or Slingshot, how are you saying half? Yeah. And not including us. So I said, yo, so what about me and a tool? Yeah. Oh, you're faced. Blah, 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 blah. Boom. Hung up the phone on me. What? <laughs> See? So you know me. Pick up the phone. Yeah. I said, yo, so weird. And start just reeling out on him. Say, yo, as a matter of fact, don't talk to me again. Yeah. Boom. He, um, he goes, as a matter of fact, I don't care. I don't care how you guys are dealing with things. I'll do a world clash by myself, even if I have to go there by myself and dead. Yeah. And which he did, apparently, from what I heard. <laughs> what? You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, and then block me, block me on Facebook, block yeah. me on WhatsApp, block me on, and just block me, block me, block me, block me, block me, block me. Wow. You know what I mean? So that's how that whole thing, that's you know, crazy, crazy, dealt with. Crazy. And you know what I mean? And up to now, I don't really know what his and shots thing is. Yeah. But I just know that at the end of the day, I just felt that I was kind of slighted by them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I feel that, you know, a lot of people have been kind of slighted. And I said, real life takes toll and all that, but you have to honor those that, you know, put their time and their energy and their well, sacrifices into it. You know, it's not something intentional by him, I don't think. It's just that, you know what I mean? It was just something that didn't really work out. You know what I mean? Space. You know what I mean? I'm a done, yeah. but, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I said, you know what I mean? We're just in different times of our life, but, you know what I mean? Yeah. At the end of the day, you know what I mean? There's no separation between Turbo and Specs. It's just I choose to just work on this aspect because as 10 people, five people, six, only a certain amount of people can go through a door and, yeah. you know what I mean? I have other things I got to deal with. And I know your camera's running down, whatever the case the is, camera. but I told you that's why I didn't want to do this because we didn't talk about, for instance, endorsements with like Cavassier and okay. Jordan Brand. So then hold on. And, let, let's, you know be, I mean? let's be honest right now, okay? Mm -hmm. When they see the edit, they're going to know right now, mm -hmm. the only camera out of all three of them that's on right now, mm -hmm. you could hear me, but you can't see me, is mm -hmm. the one that's on you. Mm -hmm. So right? why don't you just sit over here? And, hold on. Do you, you think... Okay, uh, this is what I have. This is what I have. <laughs> My director of photography said, listen. Okay. Okay? We did the first part of this podcast mm -hmm. right now. When can we get together and do the second part? Because right now, we just got into it. When we get know, it together. And I was to late for the interview on top all. of it. When we get it but, together um, and do the part two. Honestly, I will try as soon as possible. Yeah. Only because I love the energy yeah. and, and, and the vibe. Yeah. And just even going down this whole memory lane thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of things, you know, I haven't even thought about. And yeah. a lot of memories that have been brought up and I see, a lot of emotions, I seen you, too. Specs, you talk the words. I seen you, like, on a wave. While talking, I seen you go in and yeah, all, man, all around. Yeah, because, you know, it's, you know what I mean? Because one thing about me and one of the things I hate the most, you know what yeah. I mean? Because it's all about legacy at the end of the day. And yeah. one thing, especially in my younger days, I used to say some stuff on the microphone. Yeah. And, some degrading stuff and this and that and all that. And then when you grow up and you grow older, 
you know what I mean, having a young daughter, you know what I mean, her possibly being able to hear stuff like that and all that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Things just, you know what I mean? You just regret certain things and you just want to change certain things. And, Crazy. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? Just, you know, thinking about a lot of those things and, you know what I mean, some of those. And it got you, this podcast got you thinking. And I like that. Specs, listen, yeah, man. I'm purposely leaving How many batteries have I done out there? One, <laughs> two, three, four. Yeah. I'm purposely leaving this unfinished purposely i have a lot never, of stuff to talk ever, about ever ever done this before on this mm. podcast mm -hmm. but because of what we're going into and i could see that you're actually you're really into it and what you're saying a lot of people's never heard we have to finish this we mm. have to specs finish mm. it as you i said my thing is just the different. first one you know as as my, my thing is just, my thing is just complicated and different you know what i yeah. mean you know what I mean? And as I said, everyone can be Canada's number one this, Canada's this, that, that, the world's this, that, and all that. My thing is just to be yeah. consistent yeah, and just to represent properly. Because as I said, my thing, I told you earlier that I wasn't born here. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's, I have my responsibilities kind of different. So my mm -hmm. route also has to be different. My presentation has to be different. Everything about my thing is different. And you know what I mean? So when you're bringing up a lot of things, I you can't even realize that I did yeah. that or accomplish that or failed at that or you know what i mean brother specs mm -hmm. hopefully i want to say literally i think we're booked if we could probably get together probably next week again and finish this that would be amazing what's today monday yeah why can't we try before the end of the week how are you duke for yeah. before the end what of is week? it duke robinson video <laughs> what's his production again what's his production film star film star film star, yeah. film star. <laughs> um. It depends on the day. Well, I think I'll wait on okay. you. But let's, um, let's schedule and talk. Because as I said, right now, the only camera that's working right now is the one on you. I understand. Yeah. You know what I mean? And as I said, um, you know, and, and I know a lot of people take what I say and misconstrue it mm -hmm. or whatever the case is. And a lot of people might say, you know what I mean? There's this side, that side, and then there's the truth or whatever the case is. But I've been around for a long time in this long, game long from time. about, you know what I mean? Officially about 89 is when I first did my first dance yeah and it's even funny that's even another story yeah. i gotta tell you because that's the first time years, i met lindo p you know what i mean you know what i mean you know what i mean we will be coming back sooner <laughs> rather than later cut 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 cut, 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 cut. <laughs> this podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichut.com